Before you create 3D Force, there are two steps I'd recommend that you take. Number one, go ahead and download one of the latest ZDoom revision versions instead of the latest official version on the ZDoom website. The official version does not support 3D Force at this time. I've placed a link in the description that allows you to download one of the latest revisions which do support 3D Force. Just download the revision and uh, when you unzip the folder just replace the uh, original files with the revision files. Finally, I've also placed in the description a link to a brand new version of a Doom Builder that allows you to see slopes and 3D floors in visual mode. Now this is very important because when you create 3D floors you have to use a lot of dummy sectors and if you're not able to see your work in visual mode that means you're going to have to constantly test your map over and over and over in game just to see it. Once again, just check the video description and I've placed links to both of these. Hey guys, this is Chubbs and I'm finally going to show you how to create 3D floors using Doom Builder 2. Uh, once you start to create 3D floors, it's really going to change pretty much everything for you because you're finally going to be able to do true room over room effects and create architecture that's far better. And uh, of course, as always, just go to File, New Map and choose the uh, Z Doom Doom and Hex and Format game configuration. And I'm just going to start with the map 01. Now once we get in here, let's just go ahead and create a square room. I'm going to make this a a room with a high ceiling because since we're dealing with 3D floors and I want to do a, a few extra things with them, I'm going to need some more ceiling space. So just place the player start after you've drawn the square room. And let's go ahead and enter visual mode and raise the ceiling. I'm going to make this a rather high room, rather a tall room. So there we go. Now I'll go back into 2D editing mode just like this. And the first thing when you create 3D floors is you want to just draw out a sector just like you would any other sector that defines the shape of the 3D floor. I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to draw a square. So let's go ahead and just draw a square just like you would any other square sector. I'm actually going to make this one a little bit smaller than what I just drew. After you have uh, drawn that square sector, go outside of your room and draw a tiny dummy sector. Now this can be a square or it can be a triangle or just any shape. I just like to use small triangles like this personally. So now that we've completed that step, right click on any line of the dummy sector. I just like to use this line here. And once you go to the edit line def box, change the action to 160. You'll see that it fills in the uh, action with sector 3D floor. And now we're going to type in a few things and change a few properties to set it up just like we want it. Change sector tag to 1 and this is just going to be the same tag that we'll use on the square that we drew inside of our room for the 3D4 and uh, since we've not used any other sectors 1 will do for now. Change type to solid just like that. You can also type 1 and finally we need to change alpha to a positive value. Uh, zero means that it's basically invisible and alpha is just like the transparency of it. If we type 255 that's going to make it totally solid just like what I want. So you can go ahead and type that in and if you want to make a 3D floors that are you know transparent you can sort of see through them you can change that to a lesser value. So now that you've done this click OK and finally just go to your square sector inside of your room that we want to be the 3D floor. Go into sector mode and give it a tag of 1. That way it will be linked up to our dummy sector. And if you do this correctly, if you go to line mode and if you highlight over the dummy sector's line, the special line, you'll see that the 3D floor square sector highlights in yellow, just like that. So now that we have done this, go ahead and enter visual mode and now is when we can actually work with our 3D4 in a visual space. 
Now, if you've obtained the latest Doom Builder 2 version that I mentioned in the uh, disclaimer early on, you should be able to see this inside visual mode just like this. So, the first thing we want to do is I, I want to make this platform off the ground. I want it to be something you can walk under and on top of. So, we can see that right now it's just raised out of the ground. So, go underneath it just like this and look up at it and just click the floor and then scroll your mouse wheel upwards and it should start to raise and you can see this all happening inside this view I'm gonna leave it with about uh, that much thickness sort of a thick platform and after you've deselected it I'm just gonna change the textures to match what I have in my room just like that that's just an optional step so we we now have a 3d platform that's all you have to do but there are some other important things you need to know about and one of these is the lighting now if you select like uh, for example the four below it and try and change the lighting notice that the only lighting that actually changes is that of the surface of the platform and the ceiling the floor underneath the platform does not change. In order for it to change, what you need to do is actually go outside of your map here to your dummy sector. You can see it here and change its sliding. And notice that underneath the platform now, we have like a dark shadow that looks like it's being cast by it. This just gives it a, a, a more realistic look and I, I think it makes it look a little bit better and it really distinguishes the platform inside the room. And of course you can always, if you want to change the lighting on the platform too, you know, if like for example, lower the ceiling and make it look like it's casting a shadow on it, you can do that too. But for now I'm just going to just leave it like we did there. And obviously at this time we can walk underneath this 3D platform, but there's no way to get on top of it. So to, uh, to sort of circumvent that, I'm just going to go back out to the 2D editor extend the room this way a little bit and I'm just going to draw a sort of a rectangle shape attached to my 3D4 and I'm going to turn this into a slope so in order to do that select the line out here make sure that the peg in the middle is facing outwards right click just this line and give it an action of 181 and I also have a, a slope tutorial too if you're not real familiar with those if you want to look at that and then change a line floor to back and the reason we're choosing back is because it's the back side of this line since the, the peg is facing this way and now if you go into visual mode here because we have the new version of Doom Builder if you raise the, the height of this sector you can actually see it forming the slope for you I think that's really cool uh, used to you had to go into the game to test it but now you can actually see it you can see the slope being formed in real time here so I'm just going to set it about like this so that it reaches all the way up to our 3D platform and since the uh, textures are not set in place I'm going to go ahead and do that right now just like so so we now have a 3D platform that you can walk under and you can take the ramp to get on top of now how about we create another 3D floor that's stacked on top of this, sort of like a multi-story structure? Well, to do that, all you have to do is just create a second dummy sector. I'm just going to create it right beside the first one. Give it a tag of one, just like the last one. Just give it the same line. I'm going to give it all of the same properties, make it solid make alpha 255 so that it's not transparent now that we have done this if you go back into the visual editor here you'll see that our 3d4 is there now the way that it's he the way that it looks here it's going to be tough to work with so what I would recommend that you do in this case is instead of working with it here go out to your dummy sectors and work with it here so just raise it raise the floor of this second dummy sector and also raise the ceiling of it. I've got them both selected at the same time and out there you can see it uh, 
being changed. Once you've got it raised at a level where you can work with it separately, you can come back in here if you want to. And that, that that's actually another important point. You can work with it out here in the dummy sector too if you want to do it here instead of out inside the room. You can do it either way. But if you notice, we now have two platforms. These are This is a true room over room effect here. Uh, this is actually a room, uh, like a, a two-story structure. Once again, too, if we want to create a shadow that this platform is casting, we just go out to the dummy sector instead of doing it in here in the room. Change the lighting in this second sector. And it now looks like it's casting a, a dark shadow underneath. And right now, the... Uh, this platform may not be high enough off to let the player under it, so I'm just going to select both to the top and bottom and move it up just a little bit like this. Okay. And I'm also going to change the textures here just like I did earlier with the other one. And we now have a successful double platform thing going on here. Now, because we can't reach this other one, I'm going to do the same thing that we did with this first one and create a slope that leads to it. So go back into your 2D editor and I'm going to create the slope on the opposite side of the room. So I'm just going to extend the room far out here. Once again, create a rectangle. And since this one is, since this second platform is pretty high up, I'm going to make this a longer slope to make up for that. Once again, just make sure you flip it so the peg's facing out. Give it a line action of 181. A line floor, change that to back, and that's all you have to do. Go back into the visual mode, raise it. You can see it creating the slope in real time. And just texture it. Just like so. And now you have a slope here that leads up to the highest platform, a slope a little bit uh, lower that leads to the first platform, and you can even walk underneath both of them. So pretty cool. Now let's say that we want a hole that allows you to drop from the top platform down to the, the first platform. Let's work with that and show you how that how that would work. So. To do that, just first create like a square. This will be the hole. Go into your, actually, before you go back into the visual mode, give this hole a tag of zero. That way it's not linked to a dummy sector. Go back into your editor mode. You'll see now that we have a hole. But one problem here is that the hole drops all the way down. Now, if you want it to be like that, that's, that's okay. It looks pretty cool anyways because it looks like, you know, you have a light here. Looks like it, the light's really coming down through it. But let's let's say that you have a map in which you don't want that to happen. Let's say that you want the hole here to be filled up and the hole only to be on the top platform. Well, to do that, what you do is uh, I'm just going to create a third dummy sector. Give this sucker here a tag of... Uh, we're going to give this a tag of 2 instead. Just type 160 for the action. A tag of 2. I'm going to make him solid. 255 for the alpha, once again, so that it's not see-through or transparent. Now that we have done that, go back into your editor. Go, uh, actually, I forgot a step. Go to your hole here, the hole here, inside 2D mode, in sector mode, and give it a tag of 2. That's the step I forgot. And now go into your visual mode editor and you can see that we're starting to make some progress just like you did with the first platform go down below select the, the bottom part of this scroll up with your mouse wheel and we're definitely getting close change this texture so that it matches the outer floor now and we do want the light coming down here because it looks right uh, just like this, but we don't want light here because there's not a hole anymore, so I'm going to change the texture first, and then just like before, 
rather than changing the light here what you need to do is go out to your dummy sector right here and change its light I'm going to make it the same light value Let's see the light value here is uh, 128 and now that we've done that you have successfully created a hole here in the top platform you can drop down to the second uh, or the, the bottom platform but the bottom platform now has a 3D floor here that covers its hole and that way you don't you you can't fall through both holes this hole here is plugged up but we've done it in a way that looks like it's naturally part of the the platform so that's just a way that you can get around things like that and create some very interesting architecture and some some really cool maps so uh, with this knowledge here you're pretty much the only limit your imagination you can do just about anything and uh, if you guys have any questions about using these 3d floors or uh, if you have any problems with them let me know in the comments section and I'll help answer them. and just one last step here let's say you want to put two different objects on two different platforms let's go and let's grab a shotgun here and let's select a box of shotgun shells let's go ahead and put the box of shells on top of the shotgun so that they both occupy the same space there and then in the, in the visual uh, editor here if you select the shotgun you can use your mouse wheel and bring it up here to this first platform then you can go back down to the box of shells and you can actually take those all the way up to this second one and uh, right there it's obvious so it's going to fall through the hole so bad mistake on my part let's move it over just like so and now the box of shells is on top the shotgun is on the first platform and we can even put another box of shells down at the very bottom so now you have a box of shells at the very bottom a shotgun up on the first platform and if you climb all the way up to the top platform there's another box of shells and a hole you can use to drop down you can use this technique to put enemies on different uh, different levels and that uh, that basically just about covers everything so thank you guys again for watching I know I'm up to uh, over a thousand subscribers and I greatly appreciate every, each and every one of you uh, once again if you have any questions let me know and I'll definitely be glad to help